What is up and what is good YouTube? I'm SoCal Shaolin. Welcome back to the channel. I took a little time off from YouTube to kind of enjoy life. 2019 has been good. I uh, hope it's been good for you guys as well. But now it's time to go back out and start hunting again. Uh, convention season has started. I uh, hope to attend a couple of them this year and uh, bring you some more videos from the cons I attend. And uh, we're gonna actually start things off today with the local con, a new one called Rocket Con. It's put together by the folks over at TC's Rockets. It's a comic book, toy shop, game shop here in San Diego. And a pretty cool store. This is actually the second year, so it's a new convention. And uh, they were uh, good enough to bless your boy with a media pass. Thank you very much, cool. I'm excited to check it out. I did not go to the first one last year. I didn't even know about it, but uh, it looks like it's got bigger uh, so we're gonna go in stop talking and check out what kind of cool stuff they have inside before we head inside of the convention we're gonna check out the outside they actually have a whole bunch of cool vehicles from TV shows and movies uh, so I already see the 18 van behind me so let's go get a closer look at some of these cool cars all right guys so that's the 18 van actually uh, not much of a van guy but this one's actually pretty cool. Oh, the 18. Miss a T. So yeah, it's actually a pretty sweet van. And then right next to it, we got the station wagon. The National Lampoons. The Wagon Queen. Um, truckster all packed up and ready to go to Wally World so there you go if you want to rent out the Griswolds family car you can call that number and then right next to that we have Black Beauty from the Green Hornet. One of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. Of course, saw it in reruns because I'm not that old. But uh, I mean Kato, Bruce Lee, come on. That was awesome. Yeah, you can see uh, Kato's mask. Or Green Hornet's mask actually and uh, all the switches. Let's take a look inside. Real cool car. What are you gonna call the Ghostbusters? Here we have the Ghostbusters car. This is not the one from the movie, so it has the Ecto one, but it's not exactly like the one from the movie. But still pretty cool, all decked out. Next to this one, another one of my favorite all-time cars. One of my all-time favorite trilogies. The DeLorean from Back to the Future. Now, this just looks like a straight-up DeLorean. It's not decked out like the movie with all the gadgets and stuff. But still, this is a really cool car. They even have the license plate at the time. And uh, we got the newspaper. And the hat is in there, and they have a flux capacitor as well. So pretty cool.
uh, guys have been walking around the convention. It's pretty cool. A little con. It's actually bigger than I thought. There's a whole other room over here to my left. We're about to go in and check that place out. But uh, Sam Jones is here, uh, Flash Gordon, and of course now the Ted movies. Got a couple of people from uh, the Star Wars movies. Played Ewok and the Gamorrean Guard. The guys that were in the costumes are here also. But we're going to go keep looking around and see uh, maybe we can pick up something. YouTube, so that's it for San Diego Rocket Con. I'm back home now. Uh, it was a cool little convention. They had lots of vendors selling toys, new and vintage ones, comic dealers, uh, lots of good stuff there. And uh, they had a little section where there was like people from uh, TV shows and movies. That, like Sam Jones was there uh, from Flash Gordon, and then recently the Ted movies. And there's like two actors that were used to be Power Rangers. I don't know, I never watched Power Rangers Pass, the first uh, Mighty Morphin, but they were there. There was uh, two guys from the Star Wars uh, movies. One of them was, uh, he was an Ewok in the Return of the Jedi, and the other one, a uh, Gamorrean guard. So that was pretty cool. Larry Houston, who I think he did uh, animation work for the X-Men animated series in the 90s and a whole bunch of other cartoons. He was there as well. And uh, yeah, just a pretty cool little con. I did pick up a few things here, which I'm about to show you. I guess so I ended up picking up a whole bunch of t-shirts for $5 each. And these are vintage t-shirts from the 90s, which I'm into the whole vintage clothing thing. Uh, these are some from episode one. Brand new too. I ended up getting two of those. So we got Anakin Skywalker there in the pod race. Uh, it's a brand called Liquid Blue. They're pretty big uh, from the 90s. Do a lot of Grateful Dead shirts, and then got some other like barbed wire shirts from the comics. Another one, Madman, another cool one, and then a uh, Gigantor here, right here from Japan. Awesome, all brand new for five dollars each, and these are definitely worth more than that a piece. And then I did end up picking up two toys. The first one here is this big hulk figure it's probably what, like 12 inches tall uh this is so cool it's from uh 1991 toy biz you can see right there so it's pretty neat more than likely my son's gonna get a hold of this one and claim him for himself because you know he's a big hulk fan but uh this is just a really cool figure big old like hollow rubbery figure Kind of reminds me of like a bootleg toy. So this is pretty awesome. This is a really good uh, pickup. And the other figure I picked up, which is probably, uh, this is one I've been looking for for a long time. I just didn't want to pay like the high prices. And this is a uh, Sorod from the Masters of the Universe, uh, 1988. Uh, I picked this guy up for $20. Doesn't have the gun, but for 20 bucks, uh, I mean, there's not even one that cheap on eBay. The like, cheapest one was like, 35 and it was broken and this one he's not broke he's complete he's just missing the gun which is no big deal but it's in excellent condition real good shape but uh yeah i've been looking for this one for a while and glad to add him to the collection here but anyways guys thanks for watching uh i hope to have like a collection video sometime in the near future um as you can see my shelves behind me are empty i'm still working on getting all the stuff out of storage and out of boxes uh, but I do have a few things there like Thundercats my Stan Lee collectibles got some Silverhawk stuff right there 
and my vintage video games over there. But anyways, guys, uh, follow me on Instagram at SoCal Shaolin. Uh, that way you can keep, keep up with me and with what I'm up to in between videos. And just want to thank all the new subscribers uh, that have subscribed recently. And also especially all my old ones. Uh, you guys uh, just continue to support me. Thank you very much. And hopefully the next milestone, 5,000, whenever I get there, I'll throw another contest. But once again, thanks for watching. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins. Catch you guys next time. I'm out.